everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we are exactly a week uh, after the Fed announcement, right? They, they announced uh, the 75 basis point increase in the Fed funds rate exactly one week ago. I put out a video explaining that a little bit more. And guess what? We're all still here, right? The mortgage industry didn't collapse after that announcement. And the reason why I started the video off at of that is just because it seems like for quite a while now, and, I, and I've shared this sentiment in the past on past videos and, and, and past content that I shared that just seems to be a lot of doom and gloom type of mentality, you know, kind of doom and gloom air in the atmosphere within our industry. And listen, I get it. It continues to be extremely difficult, uh, specifically on those people in positions, whether you're a real estate agent or a loan officer or a broker, right? You know, you, you make your living on getting borrowers to use your business and it's becoming increasingly difficult to get anyone to sign up to use your business. So I get it. It's been very, very difficult. However, even though there's a lot of negativity going on, even though there's a lot of, you know, I, I use that phrase already doom and gloom in the industry, whether it's, you know, companies shutting down or, you know, laying people off, whether it's the bear market, whether it's an impending recession, whether it's the increase in rates or lack in inventory, right? I can go on and on. There is something to say about trying to find some sort of positivity in everything going on and just focus on that type of positivity. Uh, Cause when there's this big cloud of fear, it's very, very easy to go down the path of everything's messing up, right? Everything's imploding, right? My, my, my goals that I set earlier in the year no longer apply. What am I going to do? I need to feed my family. I need to get business and all of that is very, very real. But I promise you, if you continue to focus on the positives in the situation, because no matter how bad it gets, there's always going to be positives to focus on. You will feel a lot better about the things that you're doing short term, mid term and long term. So I want to share three specific things with you on how you, again, as a salesperson within this industry where you make your living on getting business from customers, things that you can use over these next couple of weeks, couple of months, however long it takes just to feel a little bit more positive about, about the situation. So number one, and this is something that I, you know, I, I, I actually sound like a broken record is that you, you should only focus on the things that you can control regardless of everything going on around you, right? Only focus on the things that you can actually control. If you spend one second worrying about and feeling bad about the interest rate market or the lack of inventory or anything like that, you are genuinely wasting your time because all of that is out of your control. You can't build more houses yourself. You can't make the interest rates get better. You can't, you know, avoid a recession, right? You can't, you know, make inflation come down. You personally cannot do that. So you shouldn't spend one second on that. You should only focus on the things that you can actually control, right? Show up every single day, give it your all. Don't let fear paralyze you or distract you from what your goals are. Again, short term, mid term and long term. Number two, you should practice gratitude and keep perspective. Now, what do I mean by that? So gratitude is, is, is a very simple thing and it doesn't take a lot of time to actually do. Right now, more than ever, is a perfect time for you to pick up the phone, call your past clients and just check in on them. Or pick up the phone, call your realtor referral partners and just thank them, right? And just check in and see how they're doing, right? You know, a lot of people within this industry, whenever, whenever there's a doom and gloom feeling and whenever there's a lot of fear, they feel isolated. They feel like no one is, is, is helping them. They feel very, very helpless. So you picking up that phone and just reaching out and having a three to five minute conversation to just check on them, I guarantee you will go a very, very long way. And then just keep perspective, right? If you're worried about your production next month, you're going to be upset, right? And that's, and that's just the, and that's just the truth of the matter. You should really worry about long term, right? Obviously you want to do the activities for short term and you want to make sure you're doing the right activities, but you should really keep perspective on the long term. This too shall pass is a phrase that you always hear. This will pass, right? Our industry is known for being cyclical. This is just one of those down cycles. So if you could do the right things, both short-term, mid-term, and long-term, but keep perspective on your long-term goals, I guarantee you're going to come out feeling much better. And number three, and this is very, very difficult to do, and I actually find myself doing this and uh, you know being guilty of this, but really make sure you're focusing on the type of content that you're receiving, right? So whether you're on LinkedIn or whether you're following some sort of uh, you know, news outlet or anything like that, really make sure that you're focusing on the right content. Like I said, I started out this video saying there's a lot of doom and gloom, right? It's very difficult to read articles 
or read a LinkedIn post about something positive right now. So really focus on what you're actually reading. Be very on purpose with it, right? Um, you know, going back to, you know, number one and number two, right? Try and find the positivity in everything going on. If you're reading an article or you're, or, or you're reading a post and there's just some sort of feeling of doom and gloom, try and find some sort of positive, um, you know, background with that. Try and find some sort of positive outlook, right? Really make sure you limit the type of content you're taking in and just be and just be very selective with it. So again, number one, focus on what you can t control. Anything external, don't worry about. Number two, practice gratitude and keep perspective. And number three, just be very on purpose and be very clear about the content that you're taking in because again, what you focus on expands. So if you're taking in negative content and you consistently are reading negative art, you know, articles, your mindset just naturally is going to think in a negative way. Vice versa with that, if you try and find the positives and you're taking in positive content, your mindset's going to be very, very positive and it's really going to help you in the long term. So I hope that helps everyone out there. You know, keep keep grinding. I know it's really difficult. It's difficult for everyone. But if you continue to make sure that you're focusing on the right things and you're staying positive, you're going to have a much better result um, after all this is all said and done versus having that negative feeling and everything like that. So I would love to hear from everyone on how they're trying to stay positive and the different types of things that they're, that they're doing themselves to stay positive. Uh, so please share in the comments and I would love to hear from you. Hope everyone has a great day.